everyone and welcome to my channel and this is Leslie and today I'm going to be doing another um, uh, entry into my uh, art journal and I made this book myself and if you are interested in knowing how to make and bind a book like this yourself um, I will link below to a video I did um, of a book that's done this way but it's just a different size so the principle is exactly the same this is a 12 by 12 book these pages are 12 by 12 so this is obviously a bit the cover is a bit bigger than 12 by 12 this is my cover my title page and um, if you would like to see the process of this title page I will link that down below as well and what I was thinking today I wanted to do something spread out across two pages and I have been dabbling in a lot of um, stamping lately so I have been spreading my wings a bit and <laughs> getting myself acquainted with stamping I've got some really good stamps like the Alton New stamps are excellent and then I have some really cheap cheap stamps so um but I got out all of my flower, floral, leafy stamp type things that I thought I could use on this layout. I also have this stencil that I thought I'd be able to put some um, texture paste through it and just as a background. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this process. It's going to be a long one, I, I suspect. So I will fast forward it quite a bit or um, speed it up quite a bit and if I do cut out some of this just understand that if it does take hours and hours I can't put it all on on a video but yes so enjoy the process I'm not sure what I'm going to be making so this is going to be an <laughs> uh, art journaling as you go process uh, so yes so enjoy at the moment there, I have uh, a lot of my stamp sets uh, spread out there. I only end up using two of my stamp sets there and then obviously that uh, stencil I do end up using as well. The ink that I choose to use in the end is that VersaFine Onyx Black and honestly people, I really do not know a lot about inks and um, <laughs> I've been watching some of Jen Scow's um, uh, uh, YouTube videos and she really explains it very nicely of pigment ink and dye ink and all of that type of thing. So I was really just gambling here with, with the inks. Um, I didn't know what ink or which of those inks would work the best um, if I wanted to do some watercolors or anything over that. And I have to tell you that I was lucky in this case, this VersaFine was perfect it didn't um it didn't bleed when i added water and um it just ended up wonderful and it's um it's very intense uh black ink and i love this ink so i think this is going to be my new favorite ink <laughs> to be using uh, the paper i'm using is just a uh, plain white cardstock it is a bit thicker than usual cardstock. I'm sure that you could probably compare it to something like the Basil Marshmallow, although it's not Basil, Basil Marshmallow, but um, yes. So I decided I was going to um, uh, focus a bit, um, uh, uh, focus a bit in on, on, on my drawing over here. And uh, yeah, so I got out my ink tents, my Derwent ink tents pencils. And I'm just playing around with the pencils really. I, I'm not sure what I wanted to do or what I what colors I wanted to use. So I just, you know, grabbed the first thing that I thought would make uh, good colorful flowers. And you'll see the top flower is orange. And I tried to use some um, like felt markers, but that was just a disaster. So <laughs> I don't end up using that. Um, but you'll see that uh, there um, for the time being. And I'm going to color each one of these little um, side views of this uh, flower in, um, I'm just going to color them in a bit differently. I'm playing around with the shading and what I like and, and, and so on. And um, I'm using a water brush there. And as I go along, I just add the color 
to the to the paper uh, from my pencils and then I just squirt a little water out onto the paper and I just go along and paint with it so this is a very easy technique it's really nothing um, it's nothing too difficult and the thing is that you do most of the 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 coloring and 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 work in any case with the pencils so if you're good with coloring um coloring in and and so on and you like shading then this is really this is a very easy way to watercolor and um yeah so <laughs> This is my favorite way of, of, of doing watercolors in any case. Um, so, so yes, and you'll see how, how different those flowers look. And I just um, changed up the shading a little bit. So I am going to try and use a bit um, more of a variety of colors with these uh, big open flowers. And... Um, these flowers are from the Ulta New set and it's called Hibiscus Bouquet. So um, it's just, I, the, the stamp set is those the flowers that you, you know, you stamp the different bits and then it creates a flower. So the only flowers or the only stamps I used were the outlines and um, I decided I want to fill it in myself with, with my own um uh, you know coloring and shading and so on and um, the other stamp set I used is called a uh, bold blossom it's also from Ulta New and that also has the leaf pattern in it so um, you'll see later that I'm going to come in with um, stamping some leaves or cutting them out at least I've already stamped them so um, yeah I don't end up coloring in the leaves I just leave them um, as is and just to add, that just adds some extra interest, hey? So what you can also do with these pencils is you can see there that I am basically, the, all of those petals are very wet. There's a lot of water still on there. So I decided I wanted some more shading and some more depth in that, um, in that flower. So I just went with my dark pencil, with the dark uh, sort of cherry colored pencil, I went over the wet bits and it basically it smudged so beautifully and um the, the coloring is very very intense so um you'll see there as it dries it basically stays that color and this is what i love about these derwin pencils they are it's in my opinion these are the best coloring pencils you can get <laughs> they blend beautifully um you get loads of colors you get loads of um you know the different uh, shades and so on and it's you you can choose to leave it like that or you can choose to add water and then turn it into sort of a watercolor effect you'll see here that every once in a while I come in with my with with a piece of tissue paper and that is because my water brush squirts out a lot of water and um, I'm not sure if if this water brush if it's supposed to squirt out that much water or not but I do dab up some of that water just to make that the highlighted bits of the flower um, a little lighter um, I didn't I don't want so much color in there um, and you'll see my baby Lucy I had her on my lap while I was doing this so her, you, her little hands are gonna make a debut <laughs> for <laughs> for the channel so um, I am now then, this flower is going to be different shades of orange and uh, you'll see that it's basically two pencils I'm using and I just keep on coming back with 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 the pencils and, and working, you know, working on the shading and, and, and so on. So this next, uh, this next flower is going to be a bit more yellow and um, I basically, I think I just, I did use two two pencils with this one as well I think in the next flower I only use the the yellow pencil um, because I did a lot of the shading um, uh, I relied a lot on water for the shading for the next flower but with this flower I still have two colors that I am using and that I'm shading with and yes you see it was quite a mission to get this done but Lucy had such fun um, sitting on my lap and she was chatting and, and having a ball and 
you know, doing her little thing and she got hold of one of my pencils. <laughs> so her mouth was pink and she rubbed pink all over my arm. You'll see that in a bit. But um, yeah, so you saw that I um, dabbed up some of that color with the tissue paper and that really helped highlight some of those areas in that flower. Um, this flower I am going to be working just with the yellow and um, and you'll see that I'm it's very light shading very light shading that I'm using and um, it, yeah the it, it, that's it I'm basically just working with the pencil and then with the water and no other deeper colors with that I wanted something a lot more subtle I do come in with a little bit of white because I th there was some very faint ink lines or ink bits um, in that flower and I thought if I uh, <laughs> tried to do some white over that but the white didn't really make a difference at all so I just left them so those flowers have little teeny tiny little bits of ink on it. The next flower I think I'm also only using the the purple one of the purple pencils. Um, I don't think I bring in any other color and it's the same principle that I'm that I used with the with that yellow flower just using a lot of water to do the highlights and and so on and the thing is what you have to do really is you just have to play around with these pencils and you have to find your own sort of technique with them and um, I I've been using these pencils for sure close to almost 20 years now, not this specific set, but <laughs> the Derwent pencils and um, pencils like this for almost 20 years now. And you just, I, there is probably a specific technique that you have to use, but the big thing is that you find your own groove and you find your own way of using these pencils and of, you know, and, and, and of how to make them work for you. So I ended up Cut, fussy cutting all those flowers out and you'll see there at the top left hand corner of the of the screen how beautiful they look they look like die cuts and um, I'm very impressed with that uh, with the versafine ink that it did not run and I'm also very impressed with how my paper held up it didn't warp at all underneath all that water and um, didn't seep through or anything so so here I am busy with my stencil now and this stencil is a Kaiser craft stencil it's called roses and it's a yeah six by six stencil and um, it's very finicky and some of the little bits do you know fly up uh, if you're not careful and um, yeah I, I I wish that the the the, the, the cut out bits of the flowers would have been a bit bigger but anyway this is I'm making this work so I'm coming in with some distress oxide and that is called black soot that um, black I'm using there and I'm just using a paint or her ink dauber just to go through the stencil to see if I can't get some more texture onto that page now it doesn't look like much on the screen but if you see this page in person there is so much texture going on there and you'll see as I'm adding the, the blue, which is called the peacock feathers, also distress oxide, as I'm adding that, you'll see all that texture coming through that I added with the texture paste um, through that stencil. I do add water to this distress oxide thing I've got going here, but it's really not working or activating. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, <laughs> I sprayed a lot of water on there. I dropped a lot of water on it. And... I don't know if if you have any ideas of what I could be doing wrong and why this isn't really activating maybe I'm taking too long maybe it's already dry or I'm not sure <laughs> what I'm doing wrong but this distress oxide just won't go lighter if I add water on it and this is the second project I've tried um, this with and I can't get it to work like Missy Wooden gets her distress oxides to work so <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong but anyway, I wanted to get a much darker effect behind the little bouquet of flowers that I'm going to be um, building on the bottom left hand corner of that page. I wanted some more depth as if the flowers are coming out of a darkness, coming out of something, um, you know, or as if, you know, if you want to get really um, uh, 
what do you what do, how do you say if you want to get really philosophical that the flowers are the bringing um you know the light into the darkness so that the darkness doesn't seem so dark and all that stuff but anyways i wasn't thinking about any of this stuff while i was making it i was just thinking of you know how can i make this composition work and and what what else can i stamp on this because i was loving stamping with this ink and it worked like a bomb and i really loved it and you'll see that that flower that i'm stamping there that's from the bold no 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 no. sorry that's from the hibiscus no it's not it's a random one i have in my stash <laughs> i don't know where it's from but uh, that one adds a lot of just black accents to my page and especially those little white oh, those little flowers that I also scattered around there and the one I'm scattering there it adds stark a, a stark black contrast to to the rest of the page and I really really like the way that turned out now the reason why I chose this stamp um now this is from the uh bold blossom also new stamp set is because it's very fine and it's very delicate and I wanted something I wanted the stamps to almost fade out at, um, as you looked up through the page and um, the stamp I'm using there is from the also the Alton new set uh, hibiscus bouquet so it's almost as if the stamps are dark at the bottom and then sort of becoming more fine and um, sort of lighter as as you go as you look up um, uh, you know to the page now this is also part of the hibiscus bouquet um, set it's called you are amazing or it the stamp is you are amazing and I thought to myself why not just put it in that little spot um, I still didn't know what I wanted to do as a title or what I wanted to 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 call this page or what I wanted to do at the top there of the page and um I did cut out some of those uh, leaves that I stamped and those are from the Bloss, uh, Bold Blossom Alter New stamp set and I'm just going to be very um, I don't know, haphazardly sticking uh, my flowers down just in the centers and you'll see there's a still in the end of this video where you see sort of a side view of the page and there's a lot of texture. All those flowers I, I sort of help them to curl up a little bit, <laughs> I encourage them to curl up. And they look very nice. So I've got my um, T ruler there just to draw some basic lines because um, I finally found something I want to do right. And this is the first thing that came in my head. Be, be who and whatever the hell you want to be. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, um, uh, uh, you know, I've, I've been on quite a journey the last four years. So self-discovery and being and discovering who I am and you know what I what I stand for and all of that so this is about this is it and I like the fact that those flowers are on a very dark background and it is kind of symbolic I didn't think of it as I was making it but um yeah so there's some Heidi Swap color shine I'm coming in there I'm not sure what the purple is called that one is called I think raspberry um yeah so this is it for this layout I hope you like what you see bye